Hi everyone, I want to show you my new assembly that generates and animates circuit board lines. To add an assembly to the scene you can simply drag and drop it into the node editor or add it via the Modo browser. By going here you can remove the assembly. I'll hide the node editor so it doesn't get in the way. After adding the assembly to the scene, you may have unnecessary folders, let's delete them. Now we have only the necessary elements in the scene. Now I will show you how the generator works. This parameter turns the generator on and off. Before you can edit a pattern, you must enable the Edit option. The board parameter enables and disables the board surface. With this option you can change the size of the board. With the density parameter you can change the line density. The no repetitions option removes matches in the pattern. If we make all three pattern parameters the same and disable this option, the pattern will match each other. So that there are no matches and the pattern is more diverse, it is better to leave this option enabled. By changing these settings you can get different line options. I think it looks great. After you've finished editing the lines, you need to copy the lines from the copy lines layer to the paste lines layer to animate those lines. Then we need to turn off the edit option in the settings so that we can see the animation. Now if we move through the frames we will see the growth of lines. Let's take a look at the rest of the settings. With the help of the optimization parameter, we can remove lines that are too short. The next parameter sets the line thickness. The next parameter adjusts the line segments, the smaller this value, the more segments. In most cases, 50% will be enough. With the help of the chamfer parameter you can adjust the rounding of the corners of the lines. The next parameter sets the number of points for the chamfer. These two parameters need to be adjusted before you copy the lines to the animation layer. Now I will insert the lines into the animation layer and after we can see the animation. Old lines must be removed before new ones can be inserted. I will turn back the materials for the lines. It looks great. The following parameter adjusts the line width of the circles at the ends. Then comes the radius parameter of the circles. Just like with lines, you can edit the number of segments for circles. The next two parameters adjust the random scaling of the circles. The next tab is the line animation options. The first parameter is the frame from which the growth of lines will begin. The next parameter is the number of frames for which the line will be fully animated. The offset parameter controls the offset of the growth time of the lines. The last parameter is responsible for the line growth limit, so you can avoid line intersections by making the line growth a little shorter than the original lines. I would like to explain to you why I divided the lines into two stages, the first stage is line generation and the second stage is line animation. This was necessary to get better line growth animation performance. I have also added materials so you can switch the colors of elements to color and to color. Thank you for watching this video, I hope I was able to explain all the basic parameters for line generation. I would be glad if you leave your opinion in the form of a comment and maybe even like it. Спасибо за просмотр.